edge of the marsh, the land rises steeply to this um, naturally occurring high area called Crown Point. The vegetation along here has actually been um, restored. Formerly it was um, largely ice plant, but as part of a, a mitigation and restoration project um, undertaken by the city of San Diego, um, the native plant species including um, buckwheat and um, Opuntia prolifera, this choya, and um, Ancelia californica, which is now in its dormant um, state, were, have been um, introduced and are surviving and reproducing very well. This manhole cover is um, the remnant of a sewer system that um, used to run through the marsh. This was not an unusual strategy and it still continues to be one that's used all over the country whereby the sewage is run by gravity through the lowest point on the landscape which tends to be the natural drainage um, and the wetlands. Um, you can see there's a mound behind us here uh, where the, the sewage pipe continues um, into that condominium complex. This um, particular line is planned for abandonment and the pipe will be filled with a slurry and no more um, sewage flow will be um, pumped through the marsh which will be an absolutely wonderful um, advancement because one of the things that really damages wetlands is to have um, large heavy machinery going in and um, doing emergency repairs on, on sewer systems and in fact it does result in very high um, penalties or uh, large amounts of mitigation to repair the wetland damage. This channel is intended as a drainage channel leading from the headwall of a culvert inflow from the street. However, because the drainage system is lower than the marsh itself, it tends not to work to actually drain very well. But it does illustrate that a lot of these wetlands are connected directly to uplands through storm drain flows. There's no treatment of the water and as we um, often see a lot of pollutants wash into wetlands via these storm drains. Storm water enters our bays and wetlands without treatment and um, it's something that everybody living in the watershed needs to consider that we all need to not pollute our surfaces and surface waters and keep the bays and wetlands clean. That sort of chirping sound out there is the sound of hundreds of Forster's terns who are um, nesting in the bottom of the marsh and they're very defensive of their territory. If you walk out there, there's um, a big hubbub um, and they try to scare you off and dive bomb you.